<clears throat> okay guys listen it has been a while since i made one of these type of videos man uh as you guys can see from the title of the video it is something in the lines of um characters like multiverses doesn't need characters to succeed or something like that but you see the title of the video by the time i upload the video i will have a good title for the video that you know paraphrase what this video is about um but yeah let me get straight to it oh also before one thing i love debating i i'm all love all positivity you know what i'm saying but i love debating right so and i might get aggressive out throughout this video because i'm very passionate about this video game right and i'm very passionate about the things that make sense to me and the things that don't make sense to me you know i want to you know just emphasize on a lot of things you know if you guys know who dr umar is i might you know what i'm saying i might talk like him a little bit throughout this video but um yeah anyways we get straight into the video but listen i made a tweet right i made a tweet and it was something in the lines of oh yeah i have it right here pulled up on my screen you guys might not be able to see it. Oh, yeah actually i'm gonna just put it on the screen you guys will see it it's gonna be in the lines of multiverses needs catch to succeed quotation and then me with the meme face looking like looking at you like you're crazy for saying that um so and then we had a, i had a disagreement i'm not gonna get into the whole thread because it's pretty much the general you guys already know what you already know pretty sure you guys already know what's being said but anyways he said i think it's because you're on the come side of multiverses twitter here a ton of people think it needs new characters to succeed which it respectfully does um casual scene the casual scene is always way larger than the comp no matter what um yes he is correct and when he said the casual scene is always larger than the comp no matter what um he's very correct on that but I want to add when in history have we ever seen something that has hype value but no replay value okay let me repeat that again like dr umar what in history in video game history or anything in general actually that had hype value but no replay value keep a community players or whatever the case may be when have in history something with hype value but no replay value okay keep players on a video game or community or whatever the case may be okay please tell me i need to know because we've seen it with nickelodeon all-star ball hugh neutron you guys already know hugh neutron the dad jimmy neutron's father was the most wanted character for that game people spent their hard-earned money on that character and played him for a day and then they dipped they, they spent their hard earned money on that character paid it for a day and dipped why because the game was flawed in every other aspect of the game okay boom and then people might say you can't compete he said also said you cannot compare that to nick oh, you can't compare multiverses to nickelodeon all-star raw because of the ip difference one of the ips is way bigger which is very true but let me look at the character. You might hear me uh, in multiple races. Let me look at this character list real quick. Okay, you telling me Ultra Instinct Shaggy didn't bring thousands upon thousands of thousands of players to the game. Batman himself, okay, being one of the best. And he, he's not only Batman. He's one of the best characters in the game, especially in the 1v1, which is more, I guess, casual too, I guess. 1v freaking one he's one of the best characters there you're telling me batman they bring thousands upon thousands of thousands of characters in the game superman he's the strongest of them all in dc he's him you know what i'm saying we know who superman is he's supposed to be scrapping with goku we know how strong goku is and superman is scrapping with him you know people we, we know that superman is one of the most loved heroes of all time you're telling me he didn't bring thousands upon thousands upon thousands of tens of thousands of players right not okay now here now here's the biggest one that really is crazy bro we are fighting with lebron james you telling me lebron james didn't bring thousands no I, I i for sure for my community i know for a fact that that character brought a whole a lot of bro it brought people i didn't even think that would ever touch multiverses to multiverses they all came over here to play lebron they were like oh this is fire and then they started experiencing server issues they were like bro what like this game is like boring i don't know I, there's nothing to do like they just came and then they dipped because they love lebron right that's their favorite player or whatever thousands of people came to the game for lebron that's people came to the character for a lot of these characters right but lebron is definitely i feel like he yeah he for sure brought the most people because he's more iconic than any other dlc characters we've gotten since the beta release right um fact 
we're not finna argue that please don't try to argue that <laughs> don't, don't argue that please please come on guys don't do that please but anyways yes he brought a lot of my friends lebron brought a lot of my friends they all dipped they stopped playing multiverses because it was just it's nothing really to do they love lebron once again they just dipped because it's not enough live service content what is live service content live service content is things that would keep you coming back to play and like some for example um destiny is a lot it's a perfect example of a live service game okay so every week they have weekly content like that you can get you go play your strikes and you get your 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 um your gear for playing that for the week then you go play crucible you get your gear for playing that for the week multiverses could have something like that in turn in like in the, the in another face right <laughs> but I'm not trying to okay guys i'm trying not to say nothing i'm not supposed to say but guys, i know some 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 content is coming from multiverses which is why i'm not really tripping on the fact that multiverses is on a huge down spiral right now but i know because i know a lot of stuff is coming pretty sure you guys know too because it's obvious it's a lot of service game they said they're gonna have a lot of stuff coming but i know some stuff is coming you guys you know what i'm saying so let me let me get back on track here okay so yeah destiny has a lot of live service content that people keeps coming they keep coming back weekly and they also have daily content where you can hop on and play daily multiverses the only daily content or even weekly content they have is challenges we all know that challenges is not going to keep you on the game we come on now it's not keeping them on the game now so like you need to be there's no there's no argument there we know that um and yeah that's pretty much it and then the competitive players also don't have a reason to play the game because when we did have rank the rank wasn't even in a state where people were like like it people wanted rank because the um the current rank system for casual the casual rank system isn't even like it's, it's not good it rewards people for boosting it rewards people for um like you give like a top player can give a lower player mmr just for just let, um, letting them win and they don't even lose a lot because of the new system they added because people hated losing 50 mmr so now you can only lose up to 20 but that means that top players can just boost the smaller players so the, this entire mmr system is just it's not it right um so they wanted rank and rank came and it was the same thing if you play if you had a lot of time on your hands you easily get to the top ranks and yeah so the competitive players had nothing to play for you might say they have tournaments bro to tournaments it's not even fun to them because of the servers okay so and a lot of people are saying that casual i mean um competitive players are on people playing the game right now because they don't have characters in the game gameplay video that you're watching right now i'm fighting casuals <laughs> i'm literally fighting casuals i can't I, bro, I can't even get my MMR up because I'm fighting casuals the entire time. And by the way, once you fight, when you fight casuals, you don't get MMR. You only get MMR for fighting top players when you're a top player. So I can't even get my rank up because people are boosting and I'm not even getting like, going against top players. Because top players see me, they either leave or they just, they just, they're just rare to find because they're not playing the game. Boom. And, um, also people also say, um, uh, okay, yeah, I forgot, I forgot where I was going with that. But anyways, this, here's another point of view. This might be my last one. I, I don't know, but I might just cut and think of something else to say. But, yes, right, you think, okay, I'm putting it in perspective for you, okay? um, This is a new topic, but it's the same topic. Okay, this is in regards of characters, your favorite character coming to the game, right? To multiverse. Let's say that throughout this entire video, you still don't agree with me that characters doesn't make sense. I mean... Yeah, you still don't make yeah, you still don't agree with me that characters um multiverses don't need characters. Okay, sorry, it took me a while to get gather that, okay. So let me put this in perspective for you. Alright. Your favorite let's compare your favorite character to your favorite drink. Okay. And in order to obtain your favorite character or your favorite drink, you have to go to this restaurant, right? You once you go to this restaurant. You, you see your favorite drink on the counter in the back back there you say hey can i have that yes you can because we have that here okay this new restaurant i mean not new restaurant this restaurant just, just came out with your the, your favorite drink and i'm boom you're drinking your favorite drink you go sit down you sit you sit down on a chair table the, the not chair table the chair leg break the service the, the freaking the, the waiters are rude to you all this nonsense so you're having you're having a bad time at that restaurant but you have your favorite drink though right are you going to stay at that restaurant or are you going to leave you got your favorite drink 
You're going to, exactly, you're going to freaking lose. I don't, don't even try to go to the comment section and say that that's a bad comparison. It's literally the same thing with multiverses, bro. A lot of, I wanted Aang. I, I love, I love Aang. He came to Nickelodeon All-Star, bro. He was in there like, oh my God, yes, yes. I'm not playing the game. I, there's nothing in the world can make me play that game, All right? This is, this is the fact. A lot of people love LeBron James, right? They're not coming to play multiverse. If they came and played already, they're not they're not coming back until other things are added to the game so they can use their character. When Joker comes, I'm going to use Joker for a long time because I love Joker, right? I'm and I and only reason I play the game now is because I have love for the developer team and I just have love for the community overall. I love you guys. I love everyone. I love it here. You know what I'm saying? I, lo I love it. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be here forever if the thing stays like this, but it's not going to be here forever. So that's why I'm not tripping for real. I'm playing a few other games on the side, but those games are also frustrating. So I might just quit gaming overall and play multiverses like for like an hour a day or something like that. But the point is, okay, the point is if multiverses has your favorite character and everything else in the game stays the same this, this the thing about multiverse's current state if they add your favorite character today you're going to play your favorite character for a day two three maybe even up to a week right and then it's going to go back the numbers i'm not talking about you specifically you might keep playing the game forever because just because it has your favorite character but if we use analytics and statistics that is not what it's going to help the game bro come on now is it's if we use analytics in statistics if we use data that has been given to us and not our own feelings we will see that the addition of somebody's first, uh, most wanted character or for multiverse character comes that is not what the game needs the game can come out with 30 of the top most wanted players today i'm not gonna lie, that's crazy but that, that's real crazy but those if, if okay let's say this right let's say this let's say this if, what, I, what i just said 30 top most wanted characters come to the game today and most but 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 you get you get those 30 top characters but the game stays and the current state is in forever right you get no more new content and means a new no, no more uh, game modes the only thing we're going to get is rank let's say that the only thing we're going to get is rank everything else stays the same this game will die out eventually bro I'm telling you, it's going to die out eventually. The top character things does not matter because you're going to have these characters, but it's like it's repetitive, right? You're probably going to play all 30. It's going to take a while. But once you get to that point where you play all 30, it's like, okay, what now? You're getting no new weekly um, live service type content or any of that, right? It's just no. It's just no. It's just no. What care? Okay, so this is pretty much a summary. Um, characters bring hype and just overall it just, it just brings attention hype and attention does not last forever we all know this we see we see so so think about the celebrities they get these this, all this hype and then they die off like later right it's the same thing bro hype does not last forever attention does not last forever it's just not going to keep players here you're not going to be hyped for a character that came out two months ago or a month ago, even two weeks ago. Even if it's your favorite character, you're not going to be hyped. You're not going to wake up 14 day, days later after your favorite multiverse character came to the game and be like, oh my god, he's here. <laughs> Yo, it happened 14 days ago. It's not going to happen, bro. It's just, it's realistically, it's not happening. You're not going to wake up every day happy that that character, like not high, you're going to be happy, but you're not going to be hyped that that character is there and hype. Is what brought you here in the first place. So once that's gone, then what? You're, you're just playing just to play the game at that point. You, most players play the game for a reason. All right. Um. Hopefully. Um. I made sense throughout this entire video. I um. Think I love debating. I might make a part two with another content creator or something like that. But I do think. I don't think no content creator want want to see me in the debating, bro. I would be able to defeat all of their points with the facts and analytics, analytics and stats, and they're just gonna bring feelings and example and stuff like that. Nobody can nobody can see me in a debate. If anybody want to debate me on this topic, I will make a part two. Let me know. But um, guys, I love everybody. Okay, once again, I'm love and positivity. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, guys. I, I forgot the answer, so thank you. I'm so glad um, I'm adding this. Hopefully, you guys are watching the video the whole way through and not judging me just based off a one point I made or whatever. Um, listen.
Multiverses has been my f most favorite game in the recent years of gaming. There's no other game that I can think of in the recent four years that I love more than Multiverses. Um, so this, this is not coming from hate or anything. Uh, I love, this is my favorite developer group of all time. This game is going to be in my top five favorite game of all time. This, this game, I, I love, I have love for this game. So this video is not coming from hate. This is coming from love. I wouldn't even make this video if I didn't care about the game. Let's make it make sense. Come on now, y'all. Make it make sense. Um... Uh, what else 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 oh i also once again i said this already in the video but guys i am not really tripping because i i know what needs to come to the game is going to come to the game now if i didn't know that I, this i would have probably been more angry and upset in this video or even make taking shots at developers but i know the developers are working on what needs to be coming the characters and stuff that's already handled the characters are coming i'm not i don't really care for the characters because that's not going to keep me on the game i need something that can keep me on the game uh, i need them to bring people to the game but don't bring them yet i don't want characters to, i don't want players to come now because i know they're not going to stay now i want them to come after the live service content comes to the game so they can stay okay once, once the content comes and then the characters come they're like oh my god i got my character and i can do this and this and this and this and that oh, oh that character's in the game too i can do this this this, this that 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 character too oh my gosh i'm going to be on this game all month trying to grind this you guys see what i'm talking about here you, you, you see what i'm talking like that's what that's what i'm talking about bro that is having something to do okay but anyways look that's a summary uh that's a very long summary but hey man if you guys like the video if you guys agree or even disagree don't don't, don't dislike the video bro just because you don't you disagree man it's a good debate you know what i'm saying it's my feelings i come with analytics and facts and stuff like that i try not to have any opinions um i might have a few in here without really realizing but it is what it is i have a lot of love for the game so when you have love for something you tend to accidentally put some opinions and feelings out there but at, at the end of the day i know i provided a lot of facts put a lot of facts out here man um common facts if i spoke facts and comment false if i was speaking nonsense um and also any content creators watching this if you want to debate me let me know man we can get make it part two part three part four it doesn't matter man i, I debate anyone on this matter bro um yeah i just you know so make sure you bring your notes because i'm gonna be bringing mine i'm gonna have some counterplay for your 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 your, <laughs> your, your notes and then you're gonna have some counterplay for mine i love debating i would love to make my channel the debating place people come here to listen like it's a podcast or something for debating i love i would love to do that for multiverses you feel me but um yeah i'm gonna end this video off because it's been very long but hey man if you like the video make sure you like make sure you guys subscribe for more content like this because i have a good feeling more content like this is gonna to come and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace